G'day champions and welcome back to the Lion Lawn. If, uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, for those of you who are returning viewers, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the 2022-2023 uh, lawn season. Uh, it's been a red hot minute since I've been out here making a video. Um, I had plans to do some little projects through the winter months, um, the fire pit and some other bits and pieces, but uh, unfortunately, well fortunately, uh, life got in the way and uh, didn't really get too much done. But uh, I'm back out here now looking to kickstart the season. Uh, I'm going to give you a look today at <laughs> what condition the lawn in. She's not good, I tell you. Um, I basically did nothing. In the colder months, I did nothing. Um, I spotted some clover sort of creeping in um, early on and left it way too long so that's taken over in a good chunk of the backyard and most of the front yard and the side yard so um, it's looking a little worse for wear but uh, look that's lawn care if you uh, if you're not keeping on top of it that's sort of what happens it uh, doesn't take long for it to go from really really nice to really really crappy um, if you're not doing uh, the things you should be doing to it but anyway not to worry uh, about a week ago I hit it with um, a good slug of bow and arrow um, and the effects of that are pretty obvious out there I'll take you out there and show you that um, it's starting to work I'll give it a uh, another fortnight or so and I'll do another dose to hopefully knock it completely on its head um, and then once that's all cleared out a week or so after that I plan to do a, a mini reno we'll see how we go um, we've been copping the frost through winter so the grass is a bit rough around the edges got burnt a bit um, got super thatchy and uh, and just all around just nasty so but not to worry not to worry that's like I said that's what happens first things first today uh, I'm gonna dig the Ryobi uh, rotary mower out and throw a new blade on it because it's the same blade that's been on there since I bought it um, I did the full reno with it last year and all of the maintenance mowing and bits and pieces so it's uh, it's got some good chunks out of it now and she's not real sharp so for uh, 25 bucks or whatever it was that I, that I paid for it's worth replacing um, I'll throw some whippy line in the in the whipper snipper so that I can do up around the fence and uh and yeah so we'll get that done and then i'll take you out and show you the uh the grass we'll get a mow on and um yeah see where we go from there all right i'll bring the camera down so you can see me do the uh the blade change on the mower right uh, so like i said i've got a new blade for this thing the uh the blade that's on it is the original blade when i bought the thing a couple of years ago um and it's done a reno and i've run over all sorts of things I shouldn't have run over with a lawnmower with it so it's about time to put a fresh one on now uh, I've not done it with this before but my understanding is I'm not sure if that's hopefully that's in the shot let's see yeah right um, so I'll get a piece of timber for that to chop down against a 15 mil for the Ryobi and uh, let's see how we go now one thing about these is because they're so light they're kind of hard to work on because if you had a bit of weight in it you could just and get it undone but because they're so light you sort of throw them around a bit anyway. so take the nut off we should have a couple of plates here, yes, like a absorption plate sort of thing, and a locator, and then the blade just pops off. And you can see, hopefully it focuses on uh, the edge here, you can see it's, it's not had the greatest, uh, <laughs> the greatest life in the last few years while I've been you know, using it to do renos and running it over the gravel pit out the front where the um, where the tree out the front causes me some dramas. But it's very while I've been here, I'm getting to clean all that junk out of there actually. New blade, new in the packet. 
Now this is going to be one of those things where I should have opened it before I started filming. Yes. Hang on a sec. Got it out of the packet this time. Here's my new one. You can see the edges are still nice and sharp. They've got a good edge on them. Hopefully it focuses. I'm probably a bit close there, but this is the uh, old one but for comparison. <coughs> so I'll take a photo of them side by side and overlay that if this turns out to be not much chop, but you can certainly see the two the difference in the two edges. So. All right, uh, let's put it back on. Plastic locator, throw that in, beautiful. Slide it on, make sure we've got space. <laughs> it's always good when, when you put the new blade on, it hits all the, uh, the built up gunk on the inside of the mower that the old one wasn't hitting on. Goes to show you how much of the uh, a shortening of that blade has occurred. Anyway, not to worry. Now they've sort of made it, um, I won't say idiot proof, but idiot proof, in that all these pieces are sort of only go back together one way, so you, you really can't mess it up too badly. The sandwich plate or the locator plate has a little lip on it that sits over the blade and holds onto the blade and sandwiches it to the other white piece you saw me put on. And on the uh, spigot here for the nut, there's a um, uh, two sides are, are carved out so that once that's on and located, as you can see, they've got two two uh, two sides are squared off. So he sits over those, and you sort of feel them locate nicely, and then uh, just do the nut up nice and tight because you don't want it to rattle and come loose. Again, because it's so light, I don't want to knock it off the table. Like that. Well, that feels pretty good. That's on nice and tight. Out of the way. And uh, I suppose I can give all this a bit of a tidy up. Look at that. Disgraceful effort. Leaving that to look like that. Alright. New blade on. Ready to give it a whirl. Let me clean up this mess and I'll come back to you. Mower's all cleaned up and uh, ready to go. Just putting some fresh whippy line in. Finished wiring this up. It's funny, I just spent $12, I think, on a roll of whippersnipper line. I could have spent $20 on a whole brand new head with a spool of whippersnipper line. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That ought to do it. Tighten that bad boy up. Done. Alright. Let's head out and I'll show you the disgrace that is uh, the lawn after winter. Oh dear. Alright, what an absolute disgrace. Um, as you can see there's uh, quite a significant of clover that's come back and um, the grass itself is just atrocious. We had a heap of frosts um, that just sort of made it burnt and nasty and then all the thatch build up over winter. The casper that I was using to control the clover seems to have stopped working, the clover stopped responding to that. So uh, about a week ago I hit it with uh, a good dose of bow and arrow so that's why you can see it's all yellowing and dying off. So I'm going to stick on the bow and arrow program. Um, 
Like I said, it was about a week ago that I sprayed it, so I'll give it another fortnight or so, and then give it another dose. And hopefully that'll keep it under control with uh, the introduction of then some pre-emergent by the time the reno is underway and and uh, the grass is back into full growing spec. So I'll show you this clover, it's kind of nasty. As you can see, it's definitely on its way to uh, death, which is good. The bow and arrow certainly did its, its trick. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Hopefully I can bring it back and, um, and it, oh, the microphone's away. Hopefully I can uh, get it back under control and um, get it out of the lawn in time to scalp it down and do a bit of a reno on it and, um, and then it won't be an issue. But anyway, this is what it looks like at the moment. I'll run the mower and whip snipper over it and uh, hopefully it looks a bit better. The front and the side yard are uh, in much the same boat. They're equally as trashed, which is a bit of a disappointment, but uh, that's lawn care. It's one of those forever kind of things. If you stop doing it, um, it doesn't take long for it to quickly go back to total garbage. Um, and I stopped doing it for a couple of months. So anyway, that's the price we pay. I'll get the mower going and uh, see what it looks like when I've done that. first run with a new blade, I'll probably uh, give it a quick hit with the trigger before I try and mow just to make sure I've done it right. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to go and do the front and the side, but I'm probably not going to film that today or probably not going to film a whole lot of that this season. It's in quite a bad state and I'd rather spend the time fixing it rather than filming it. But uh, if anything crazy happens out there and I make any huge progress, I'll, I'll take the camera out and show you that. But for the most part this season, I'll probably film out here. But um, before I go out there and do that, I'll give you a look at what the back looks like. As you can see, underneath the clover and all the nastiness, there still is quite a, quite a good um, covering of nice lawn under there. I can I can see um, its former glory still sitting under there. I've just got to dig it out a bit. Um, so we'll do a mini reno in a couple of weeks after I've let that bow and arrow do its thing. I'll give that a second hit in probably a fortnight and then another week or two after that I'll do a mini reno I think. Cut it down short, put some uh, chemicals on it, some fertilizer and bits and pieces to try and really kick start it and then hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get back into the cylinder mowing and it'll look very nice again. So, um, I'll give you a quick look at it up close. There you can see it's, um, it is still quite nice in there, but it's very thick, very thatchy, and it needs, uh, it needs a bit of looking after. So, but we'll get that done uh, over the next few weeks, as I said, and uh, hopefully you stick around and see if I can't get it back to how good it was at the end of the season, last season. Um, if you are if you're new to the channel I'd love for you to subscribe um, if you've remained subscribed from the last season thank you very much for your patronage and following um, hopefully I'm going to try and put out a few videos this season uh, I'm not going to make any promises with frequency because every time I do that life gets in the way and I don't get a chance to do it but um, like I said there's the reno is, is happening. I'm gonna try and sort out the front and the side yard and if I make any headway with that, I'll make some videos about that. 
Um, I plan to do a few more reviews on various tools that I've picked up along the way, um, some new ones that I've got coming. Um, I've got the Ryobi Scarifier, he's off at a mate's place at the moment, I'll get that back from him for my reno, so when I use that I'll do a sort of a 12 month on review as to how it's held up with that sort of punishment, because it's quite a, good, quite a good bit of kit, but um, like all things in that price bracket, you know, you always wonder how good they're going to last the second season, the third season, the fourth season, and so on. So we'll do that. Uh, and then other than that, today, the only thing I wanted to get done was an update on the stickers. So for those from last season, I was building up quite a good little sticker wall here. But I have these new fellas to add. Now, Unreal Knobs, he was on there last season along here, but I'm not sure what happened there, but the stickers peeled off, so lucky he sends out a few. So we're going to throw that one on there. Hursty's Lawn, thank you mate, really appreciate the swap. You can live down there. Tomo Turf, another legend. All these guys that are uh, sending me stickers and have done sticker swaps with me, I'll... Um, I'll put their either their YouTubes or their Instagrams up on the screen for you to see. Had a bit of trouble peeling that one off, but that's because I chew my fingernails. And there, Tiff Tough Briz, another good one. All these guys that have got stickers, you should give them all a follow if you don't already, because they put out good quality content, little tips, little hints that might help you get your lawn under control. Now this one. Keith Striper Man, all the way from the USA. If you are not a fan of Keith, you need to be. He is the OG Striper, and he's doing some cool stuff with some new grass this year. So jump on over to his YouTube channel and his Instagram and uh, and give him a follow as well. So that sticker board's almost full. I'm gonna have to find a new one for the next lot that come through, but for the time being, that'll probably do me. So once again, Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I'm going to try and get up to 500. <laughs> try and get up to 500 subscribers this year, which would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment if uh, there's anything you want to ask or any advice you can offer for getting rid of the rest of that clover. Um, but other than that, I will see you next time on the Lion Lord. Thanks, guys. Cheers.